Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video in my Faster World Quest series. This is a series where I take a handful of random world quests in Legion and show you various tips and tricks that you can use to complete them faster. First up on our list is the Dirge of the Dead World Quest, which you can find in the western area of High Mountain. For this one, you have to complete various objectives to cleanse the burial grounds. Most of the mobs in this area for some reason have a higher health pool than most of the mobs in the game. They take a while to kill, and they generally only give you 5-10% to completion per kill. But there are also these skeleton mobs called Bones of the Fallen. These have a very small amount of health, and they give you a whopping 11% per kill. These die in two hits, so they're by far the most efficient for this quest. So don't waste your time with the Torrin or Iridar. You can mainly find them on the southern edge of the questing area, sort of facing the waters towards Valshara, and a lot of them are near clickables that give you another 8%, so if you put your focus on these, you'll knock out this world quest in 30 seconds. Quest number 2 on our list is the Sea of Feathers, which can also be found in High Mountain. This is the one where you have to kill 6 harpies, 4 bears, and you also have to break 4 of their eggs. This one is kinda minor, but just like the harpoons in part 1 of this series, if you spam click the eggs, you can get double credit. Like I said, kind of minor, but it does help if it's overcrowded because typically the eggs are the hardest things to find. Speaking of overcrowded, next up on our list is the Withered Army Training Amberville quest in Western Suramar. For this one, you have to recruit 10 Withered located near all of the abandoned manors. This one, as I'm sure you've seen, is really miserable if there's a lot of people. Most of the time, it's not even worth doing because it takes so long. A trick I learned, though, is that there are a ton of Withered to the west of this area near the river. They're out of range of the questing area, but you can just pull them into it and use your staff to recruit them. And there's enough of them to where you can get all 10 and 3, maybe 2 pulls, so it's super handy if it is indeed overcrowded for you. Next up, we have the Blackhawk Bulwark Warden's Tower in Stormheim. A shortcut I always use for this one is from the nearby flight path, I use a kite. If you use it right at the cliff's edge, you'll land perfectly on top of the tower where the boss is, so you can skip that long walk up. And after you kill the boss, just use your normal slow fall abilities or another kite to jump down. If you don't have any slow fall abilities, I recommend picking up the Brillfist Idol Toy. This resets your fall damage when you use it, so it's handy for pretty much all of these Warden Towers. You get it from a vendor named Slyhoof the Shameless Shaman, located in Thunder Totem in High Mountain. And for him to sell it, you need to complete the Unexpected Allies quest, which is part of the standard High Mountain story chain. I'll have a link to that in the description if you have trouble tracking it down. And lastly, we have the Now That's Just Clawful World quest. This is the Stormheim Murky quest. You have to click his egg at the end of a wrecked ship, and then kill a bunch of crab monsters. Just like the one at Suramar, once you click the egg, I recommend clicking leave vehicle and just killing everything normally. Murky is pretty slow in both movement speed and damage, so most of his world quests take longer than they should. Usually, it's way faster to just leave vehicle. This will especially be true when flying comes out. But that's all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next part when I find 5 more tricks that I think are video worthy. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and... Peace.